So I've seen this device and wonder, could it be true? Can we have a perpetuate motion machine that can do work for us indefinitely without the need for any external energy source? So scientists said that this kind of machine is impossible as it would violate either the first or the second law of thermodynamics. So the only way to find out is to build this machine and test it. Not in reality, of course, but by using this awesome 3D software called Blender. So basically Blender allows us to create awesome and amazing animations that simulate actual reality. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. We will model this device, texture it, give it a realistic lighting, work on the physics and test it out. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here in Blender, we can get started by playing. We can scale it on the X axis and extrude it up. After that, we can add the bevel modifier to bevel the edges. We can increase the segments and reduce the amount to something like this. Next, let's add the top piece. So it's gonna be just a cylinder. We can scale it down and make it fit our reference. And on the top, we can press I to add some insets like this. And also we can add another inset for the middle hole. And let's add the subdivision modifier so that we can smooth our objects. And also let's add some extra edge loops to kind of define the edges of our top base. So here on the bottom of our base, we can select both of those edge loops and we can press Ctrl E and choose the bridge edge loop so that we can connect both of those edge loops. For the rails object, I started with the path. I changed its shape on the edit mode by pressing tab. So basically we need to make it fit the rails that we got in our reference. So basically we can repeat the same steps with it to create the top base barrier. Then I've changed the depth value to make the rails look like actual pipes. All right, so to texture our device, so we're going to be using a wood PBR texture. So I'd like to show you the way to set it up. So first we need to create a new material. So let's go to the material properties by selecting the base first. We can add a new material. Let's call it the wood. So here on the bottom window, I'd like to spin it or to change it to the shader editor. So here we have the principal VSDF. So what we need to do is to click on the principal VSDF and press Control Shift T. But this feature will only work if you are enabling the node wrangler. So let's go to edit preferences and here on the add-ons so we can search for Wrangler. So make sure that this add-on is enabled. So it's a built-in add-on inside Blender. So once it's enabled, we can press or select first the principal BSDF, Control Shift and T. And you're going to have the option to select the wood textures. So I'm going to be selecting them from here, all the textures and set click on this principal texture setup. So right now, as you can see, all the textures are assigned automatically. So everything is well connected. So all we have to do right now is a little bit apply some tweakings to the mapping. For example, we can change the orientation of the wood. So I'd like first to spin it on the Z axis by 90 degree. And let's do the same thing for the top base. So we can select it and simply choose the wood. So here for the rails, we're going to be creating a metallic material. So let's do that. So I'm going to be creating a new material again. Let's call it metal. And here I'd like to just tweak a little bit the principal VSDF. So I'm going to just for example, increase the metallic value to one. So this is what we got, it looks metallic. And also what I'd, like to, what I'd like to do is to reduce the color. I'd like to make it a little bit dark, something like this. And for the roughness, I'd like to make it shiny. So I'm gonna set it to a low value, something like 0.1. So now our pipes looks metallic. So I'm gonna be giving the same material to our ball, the same metallic material like this. For the physics settings, this is what you can do. So first I'd like to select, you can select the top base and you can jump into the physics properties and I want you to click on this rigid body. So basically we want this object to be like a collision to our sphere. So set the type to passive and the collision type set it to mesh. And basically you can do the same thing to these rails. So you can select the rail, set the rigid body again and the type of it set it to passive. And for the collision type or the shape of the collision, set it to mesh. And for the top ball, we can select the ball and we can set it also to a rigid body, but it must be an active, not passive. We can set it to an active rigid body. All right, also I want you to check the gravity. So we can jump here into the scene properties and we can scroll a little bit down until you find the gravity. So make sure that this box is checked and the value that you got on the Z axis is the minus 9.8 meters per second square. So basically this is the G gravity on earth. You can, if you can do quick research, you're gonna find this value. So make sure that we are using this right value because we are doing this experimentation on the earth not on the moon or on Venus or Mars. And basically we got it. So that's all there is for the physics settings. All right, so now the moment of truth. So let's lift the ball up to its initial position and let's start the animation by pressing space. 
and here it goes a failure so i wasn't expecting this at the beginning but after i did research so it turned out that this is the right behavior of the ball so the ball must n should not exceed that point so basically blender is not to blame so basically to understand what's happening let's go back to the first law of thermodynamics which is the conservation of energy that states that energy cannot be created neither destroyed so meaning if we take the ball and drop it up from the top so basically the potential energy of the ball is going to be converting itself into kinetic energy but that kinetic energy is going to keep subtracting because of factors like the friction and air resistance and as a result that energy is going to go to zero which meaning that means that the ball is going to stop right at the lowest point of that rail so basically to succeed in our situation and make the ball reach the top base again so we need to provide the ball with a push we need to provide it with an additional energy that's going to compensate for the wasted friction and air resistance energy wasted and basically this is the trick hidden in this tool so basically there is a hidden device that provides a magnetic field that pushes the sphere forward providing that push push that the sphere needs to reach the top base so basically to make this machine a perpetual motion machine so we need to add a force so we can do that also here in blender so the force that we're going to be using let me just show you so shift a let's add a force field it's going to be force so we need to push that ball so the best place that i found which is about here let me just show you so once the ball is going to be going down so we need to push it right here but but I don't want to be pushing the ball up, so I want this force to be applied to only the half, the half bottom of uh, this section here. So to do that, we can check the hull, uh, the fall off this direction, so we can set it to only the minus z, which is the bottom, this one, this part. All right, and for the strength, we can increase it. I want you to increase it, for example, to ten thousand, so that we can see it even better. So right now, let me just control space and let's go back. And if we press, if we press space to start the animation, let's take a look at it. So it's going to fall, the ball is going to be falling and it's going to be pushed by this, this uh, force field. So let's go again for the second, the second attempt. Just wait for it. It's going to take a while, I think. All right. So there we go. Got it down. Bam. It's going to go up again. Isn't that pretty awesome? All right, so there we go. So we got our perpetual motion machine working in Blender. So I'm gonna put a link down below so that you can download the assets for free and experiment with it. And also please make sure to check my other projects on realityfakers.net to learn more about Blender and 3D design in general. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in the next coming project. Take care.